Hello there. If, like me, you live in Northern Europe, you probably haven't been doing much detecting lately because the weather has been absolutely atrocious for months and months. It's a smidgen warmer today. It probably is up to about two or three degrees centigrade. The ground isn't frozen. It isn't snowing or raining. So I may well get out this afternoon. One good thing about detecting is if you can't get out for weeks or months on end, it doesn't really matter. The stuff that you're after has been there for hundreds of years. It's not going to go anywhere. So it's just a question of biding your time, waiting for a good day, and then getting out and finding it. Although I personally have found next to nought for months, I've still got one or two things in the archives to bring out for this series. Plenty of other people around the world have been finding things and have been good enough to send me videos for this episode. So stay tuned, here they come. Welcome to part eight. Hello guys, this is my video for Ponguru's World Wide Metal Detecting. This is one of my best finds. It's um, It was found on Pasje, four to five inches deep. It's a uh, one florin, George V. Very, very, very good neck. The date is 1920. And it's a metal detect, out. Hello, my username on YouTube is Hiliak. This is my find for Pongaroo's find series. It's a thought to be a horse pendant, and apparently it's Celtic. That's the opinion of quite a few people that I've I've shown it to. I'm not quite sure yet, but it's a very nice object. This was found with XP Deus on stubble and it's about six inches deep hello there I'm Richard channel name Pond Guru and this is the find that I'm going to show you today this is a lead button that's the back of it with the little loop flattened over and that's the other side of it it's got a beautiful pattern on it I found this about six months ago in a local field and it's the only lead button that I've found. I find plenty of lead dress weights but that's definitely a button unless somebody can tell me otherwise. I have been wrong before. That was found with the E-Track on pasture at a depth of about 10 inches. It gave a, a reasonably good signal. There's a close-up of it there. It's reasonably intricate for something made of lead and something so small. So I like that one. Thanks for watching. Hi, Digadel250 here again, and this is my entry for Panguru's metal detecting finds, worldwide metal detecting finds. This is my second post. First of all, we've got, I believe, is a Roman disc brooch. Uh, found about three inches deep with a 250. Some signs of gilding on it there. I think there should have been a stone in the middle somewhere set, but obviously it's not there, but nice find. And about 10 feet away, I found this, which I think is also Roman, which is, I don't know, a duck, a pheasant, a chicken. You see the enamel in round the eye, off a field that's full of buttons. And these two turn up. A couple of nice finds. Roman, I do believe. Okay, that's it for now. My YouTube channel is Digadil250. Bye for now. Hi, all detectorists. This is Dickoff1066. This is a bronze passed off axe head. It was found approximately 7 inches. The date is from 1300 to 1500 BC. It was found in pasture land near Durham. 
It was found with the Explorer XS in December 2012. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, hello everyone, here I am again, Lewis Richards. Um, my metal detecting channel is called Lewis Richards. This is how you spell it L E W I S R I C H A R D S. Please subscribe. Um, this is an entry for Pongoo's Worldwide Metal Detecting Point. I found this last year around September time. Um, it was found in Staffordshire. It's Elizabeth the first sixpence. 1592 mint mark ton. I found it with my XP Gold Max Power on a stubble field at about one foot deep. Thanks for watching. Cheers, bye. Hello, everyone. My name is John. My YouTube name is Jet Ski John 2006. Uh, I dug up this coin about two weeks ago and I thought it was a George III silver coin until I turned it over and it revealed this which is a bank token 5 pence Irish 1806 I found it with the Garrett A250 in Cheshire about 5 inches deep and it was on its edge. Really impressed with it. And thanks for watching. Hi, Madison Maine here. This is my entry into Pond Guru's Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. And the find I've chosen for you guys is my pocket watch fob depicting Jesus on the front. I found this fob in a late 19th century, early 20th century campground, religious campground that is. And it's made out of brass, I believe, or bronze. And on the back shows the Pa Bell Company emblem. And it says made in Israel right on it. And then there's some Hebrew below that, which I can't decipher. The Pa Bell Company was founded by a famous Israeli uh, sculpture Maurice Ashlon, who uh, started the Paw Bell Company in 1939 and it created bronze and brass items until 1956. They're highly collectible. And that's my entry. My name is, my YouTube name is Matt98626. Text he used to find this coin is a Joan Allen coin shooter. I found a Saxon ski. <clears throat> See what I'm not going to find so far. I haven't been taking to it that long. You know, I'm really pleased with that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hi right, guys, my name is Ben. My YouTube name is Pultab King. This is an 1800s horsehair fly fishing reel. It would originally had a ivory handle. Just there, as you can see, it snapped off. I found it in June 2012. I found it with my Gart H250. In about three inches of water in a river in South Wales. Cheers, guys. Hello, viewers. Hello, Pond Guru. This is the Dutch treasure from the Netherlands. 
this time I'd like to show you two of my golden hammered coins I found a couple of years ago. The first one I found was dated 1684 and the second one I found about three years later was dated 1758. As you can see this one is really beautiful. This is the other side of the coins. As you can see this one is really beautiful. And to compare the size of these coins I have a American quarter here. So you can compare them. Okay, hope you like them again. Um, see you in the next video. Bye. That was another great collection of lovely finds from all around the world and if you want to send me a video yourself just make it in a similar format to the ones in this video i.e. up to a minute long no copyrighted music show the camera what you found where you found it what you found it with and roughly how deep it was just a little bit of information once you've made that video upload it to your channel if you don't want it to show on your channel you can upload it as unlisted then send me that video either as a link to pondguru at btinternet.com or attach it to a message via YouTube. You can also send me videos through uh, Facebook, but I don't use Facebook very much, so I may miss them, unfortunately. So YouTube is the best way, or by email. The details will follow at the end of this video, and also will be in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. As I've used up all the videos that people have sent me in this episode, I've got none left now, so I do need you to send me videos for part 9. You can send me as many as you want, I'll only use one in each video, but I'll hold them and use them in subsequent videos. So please send me more. You make this video what it is. People watch it, they appreciate it, they subscribe to me, they subscribe to everybody else, they click like, they share it, post it on forums. That makes this series so good. Not me, you. Thank you very much. Hello there, I'm Richard. Pond name. Oh, bollocks, man. Pond name.